Hi, my name is Chris Young of Raptor Films Limited and I am here today to tell you something interesting about frame rates which I have learned recently. Now by frame rates I don't mean how often you frame someone, make them look guilty for something that they haven't done. What of course I mean is frame rates with video editing and especially with Final Cut Pro X, mixing frame rates can be a tricky business as I found to my detriment recently when I tried to edit together a short clip from a GoPro filmed at 29.97 frames per second with lots of clips filmed on another camera, Panasonic actually, at 25 frames per second. So what I'm now going to show you is how I uh, circumvented the problem and uh, it will also serve as a reminder to me because I'll probably forget how I did it later on. Here it is. So I've got a wedding here, a Final Cut Pro X. Uh, it's a very nice wedding up in Peterhead. Most of the, the wedding was filmed on 25 frames per second. Uh, apart from the GoPro, which was stuck on the car, uh, which was filming at 29.97 frames per second. I put them all into a, a sequence which is this one, and the stats are, here we are, 25 frames per second, because most of the footage is in 25 frames per second. 1920 times 960 uh, for a letterbox effect. So the first version is all 25 frames per second, and this is how it looks. <laughs> This is the GoPro. Okay. So that's that's jerky. The GoPro is jerky. So I thought, okay, I'll I'll try and put everything into a sequence which is 29.97 frames per second. Here we are. So let's let's have a look at that. That's what happened here. Oh dear. Oh no, that's that's nasty. That's not bad, that's because it's a digital zoom out. Okay, alright, so the, the GoPro looks great. Oh, oh stop, 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 stop. Okay, that's that's bad, that's bad. So what is the solution? I can't have it in 28.97, I can't have it in 25. But then I realised that uh, film is simply a... Uh, pictures isn't it really it's just an image sequence so what I did was I took the GoPro clip oh, here we are GoPro only right so I put the clip in here just the clip I wanted because I didn't want to do the full video because the full video is like uh, half an hour long or something so I put it in here and yeah that's what it was automatic settings so automatic settings it's 4k 29.97 and then I exported from here as an image sequence export image sequence and that's just going to export all of the all of the, the frames as images, and I put that uh, in here. And you've got all these frames here. I think it's about 400 frames in total. And then I just re-imported all the frames into a pre-made image sequence file already set the way I wanted it, 1920 times 960. Okay. So I dragged them all in here. So as you can see, these are all just images. But each one was four seconds long, so I had to trim them all down by right-clicking, change duration, and I changed each duration to one, one frame. And that's how we've got this. And then I exported this as a 25p GoPro image video clip in the desired settings like that. And that took me to this. Here we are, GoPro image sequence 25p. So basically, 29.97 should have been converted to 25p. The, there's no syncing involved because there's no talking or anything. And it doesn't really matter if the length is out slightly because it's only a few seconds long, you see? So I re-imported this clip back into here and I just put it over my, my video where I wanted it, introduction. So I put it over the old clip and I matched it up to the right length and then I exported the whole thing again to get the final version, which, let's have a look. That's fine. 
That's also fine. so nice that is so nice that this this has been bothering me for years I've never been able to figure out how to do it so that's it thank you very much for watching we hope you found it interesting and or useful please consider subscribing or liking or even sharing that would be hugely appreciated thanks very much goodbye